wonderful good day dear ones and welcome back here at Cedric Aviation. I'm glad you're tuning in again. Many of you have asked me why the Gazelle tutorial series is not continuing. Today I show you the answer. In one of the next DCS updates Polychop will present you with the new version of the Gazelle. In addition to a completely new flight model they also done a lot with the weapons and the variants. But there's more about that right here in the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss another video. I would say, let's go! So, welcome to the mission editor here in DCS. First of all, we want to get a little overview what is new here and what settings we can do. I already set up the three new variants here and we will have a closer look. On the upper right corner you can still choose which variant of the Gazelle you want to use. We still have the L variant, also the M variant and the minigun variant. As you can see, the Mistral version is missing. A lot of things are merged into the L variant. We will have a closer look now. I already set up my Gazelle with two FN HMP400 machine guns here. This is one new feature. You can now use two guns at a time. But no worries, we go through all the setups step by step. Let's start with station 1. We can now set up the Mistral variant on this station. So we now use the L variant to go for air-to-air -air combat and use the air-to-air -air missiles without any standalone version. If I choose the Mistral on one station, you can see that the other station is also loaded simultaneously. It is not possible to choose the Mistral on the one hand and the Giant or HMP400 on the other hand. As soon as I try to use the gun on the one side and then choose a Mistral, the gun is removed automatically. You can still use up to four Mistral missiles, that's the same as you already know from the previous versions. Besides the fact that you use the L variant to load up for air-to-air -air combat. Next we take a closer look at the air-to-ground missiles. Also new feature, you can now use the hot free missiles on the L variant. You can take one missile per site or you load up with all four missiles at once. We have a new site for the Aethos, but we will take a closer look later on. And with this, I call it easy site, which remembers a bit of the Bow 105, you are also able to guide hot free missiles. And that's why you can now take hot free missiles with you in our L variant. Let's take a quick look at the new pods. We have the HMP400 already shown. You can choose in the loadout window how much ammunition you want to go with. 100, 200 or 400 rounds or you choose the already known Giant M621 with the known loadouts. Armor piercing, high explosive or the Sapphire. I'm not really sure if Sapphire is a special type of tracer, maybe you guys know that, write it in the comment section. The Giant was the standard gun on the old L variant, so you should be familiar with her already. You can also choose here how much ammunition you want to take with you. You can also mix the Giant and the HMP, but in this setup you are not able to fire both guns simultaneously. If you use the HMP400 on both sides, it gives you the option to fire both gun pods at the same time. You may recognize that the new L variant of the Gazelle gives you the option to configure the helicopter in the need for your personal mission. The same counts for the rockets, we will take a closer look right now. You also have different rockets to choose from, target practice, smoke, high explosive, high explosive armor piercing, smoke green, smoke red, smoke yellow, Illumination, HE frag and so on. The new version let you choose what you want to have load up. You can now use the heat rockets on the left side 
And on the other side you can choose green smoke for example. The best scenario for this case would be the follow. First you want to mark a target with green smoke to be verified by the JTAG or another air unit to confirm that this is the target or they can guide you to the target from the smoke. Then you do a second run and use the heat rockets to blow things up. You are free of choice of how to set up your helicopter for the mission. Of course you can also use the rockets in combination with the guns, for example the Giant. That's the setup from the old L variant you are already familiar with. I personally love that we can now customize the Gazelle. On the left in the loadout menu you can attach smoke generators to your helicopter. Two smoke generators can be taken with you. It can be used during air shows or if your buddy loses line of sight. The other things in the loadout menu should already be known. You can use the depot antenna, I don't take it because I don't like it, but you can attach it for optical reasons and of course you can attach the IR deflector and the sand filter. Keep in mind, to use the sand filter in a desert environment so your engine does not take any damage from the sand. If we click on our helicopter and open the additional properties tab we can find two new entries. Of course the already known NS430 is in it. The next option is to remove the doors of the gazelle and also the new tablet can be removed. We will talk about the tablet in a minute. And there we are, in the cockpit of our new gazelle. First of all we want to take a look at this beauty of art, our new tablet. Please keep in mind the tablet is still work in progress. I am not sure what we can expect until release at this time, but I really want you to show the features of it. We can start the tablet with a push on the button at the bottom. And now it takes a few seconds for the tablet to boot up. It just takes a bit of time, but we are patient. And there it is, our new tablet. You may recognize that we can do some stuff with it. We can already adjust the brightness of the map and of course we can also change the scale. What I personally love about the tablet is the fact that we now have our ground speed in knots and our altitude in feet. It is normally no problem to fly the gazelle with kilometers per hour and uh, with uh, meters but it is a very nice addition to have knots and feet as well. With a click on the tablet we can switch the charts between the satellite map and I call it the normal street map. And if we now try to pick her up and move a bit, please keep in mind also for me the new flight model is a bit challenging. So I am sorry for the bad pickup here, but the feeling of the helicopter is totally new to me. But as you can see, everything is working fine. Bearing is moving, the altitude and the speed. And there we are, back airborne, we are in the air cruising over the city of Damascus and there is a reason why we are sitting on the left hand side of the helicopter. We also have some new features here. You may already saw that we have a new panel for our AFA system. This panel is a simple version of the one we have in the M variant with our Vivian system. But there are some similar functions in it. We have a simple little zoom button here. We can change our distance marker of our crosshair in the side. Of course we can move the side uh, with the stick in the middle. And on the upper right we have our ground stabilization switch. And below here is a little wiper which is not implemented yet. 
let's take a closer look on our new site. Simply click on the site to flip it over and with your right eye we are able to search for targets. I quickly try to find a good position here where I can pause my track IR. The slew function is the same as before and also with the known keybinds. You can see how I can change the crosshair to get a relative distance to the target. It's the upper button here. You can also press the zoom button and zoom in or out. And of course our ground step does work as it should and stays more or less on the target even with relative movement of our helicopter. If we do another click on the ground step, the side will start moving again with the helicopter. When it comes to handling the weapons, there isn't much new you need to know. First of all, we energize the weapons, then flip our master arm switch to on, and as you already know from my Gazelle tutorial, I have a button to switch between the left and the right pylon. Currently we have our rockets on the left hand side and the giant machine gun on the right hand side. We start using the gun. This is stuff I think you already know. Don't forget to turn the forward master arm to on and pull the trigger. One click to switch to the other pylon and squeeze the trigger. <laughs> okay, how bad should your aim be? Marcy says just yes. So we just changed the loadout so we have the HMP 400 on both sides and I removed the doors for you. I turn the co-pilot on and you see if we have the same weapons on the aircraft you can flip both master arm switches to on and both lights turn green. So you can use both gun pods at the same time. So let's try it. I really like that. The dual gun pods bring a lot of fun for me. The fact we can load up two machine guns is great and all over the best is that we can now customize our weapons according to our mission with more or less only one helicopter. That's a great thing at all. Next we want to take a look at the hot free missiles of the L variant. I took four of them with me and in front of us we have our practice targets again. So let's jump onto the left seat and we turn the pilot body on, I guess he is flying better than me and flip our sight. No, stop. We first have to configure our helicopter. We have to turn the master arm to on, we have to select a missile and switch the system to day mode. You already know this from my M-Gazelle tutorial. So now I have to look where the targets are. Yeah, I think there they are. I think I can see them. So now we have to open our flip covers and now flip the site. I use ground stabilize. I take a crosshair I like. And let's look if we can find some things to blow up. Yeah, there they are. And we use the zoom in this case. Uh, what is missing in the L variant is the laser to get a distance from the target. This is uh, now only available in the M variant. I have to look that the helicopter is doing the correct stuff. We have to correct a bit to the left here. And there's our fire solution. We stay on the target rifle. We maintain the target in the crosshair. Damn, that was a little bit too far. We select the next station and a new target. Fire solution. Rifle. Right 
That one was right on spot. Let's try the next station. Oh, we need to adjust a bit. Uh, and we have to correct the nose of the helicopter here. And... Rifle. Good check here and we go for the last one. Fire solution and... Rifle. Good check on that one. For real, it's funny to play around with the Hot Free in the L variant and I really wish you a lot of fun trying it on your own. So that's it. We talked about some new features of the SA342 Gazelle L variant. Also the minigun version of the Gazelle gets a few cool upgrades and will take a place in my further missions, especially in the multi-crew environment. If you are interested in this new feature, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and don't miss any upcoming video. I wish you all the best and thanks for watching.